What you just saw was a shot from the 2003 movie Joshua and the Promised Land. If you're unfamiliar with the movie, it's about a little furry lion named Joshua. His parents are very mean to him, so a TV static angel demon thingy named Chris comes to take him for an adventure in ancient Egypt. There he possesses an ancient Jewish furry lion who is also named Joshua, supposedly, and takes his place in the story, eventually leading the takedown of Jericho. When he returns to the normal world, he sword fights an ancient demon head thingy, wins, and after that his parents are nicer to him through the power of God. This movie was made by pretty much one dude with no experience, which is probably why the movie has such a high meme value. Thank you, Jim Lyon. The world wouldn't be the same without this movie. Recently, the YouTuber Saberspark, who is mostly responsible for bringing this movie into the attention of the public in the first place, announced that he will be organizing a multi-animator project with the goal of reanimating this absolute legend of a movie. I have always wanted to join a reanimating project, but due to copyright issues, they have usually been announced and created on a platform like Twitter and, if you know me, you know that I avoid Twitter like the plague. But Saberspark announced the project on YouTube, which allowed me to enter it. Yay! Oh, also, just in case you're new here, I'm an entirely self-taught animator. My methods are weird and unconventional. So, you know, take everything I say about everything with a grain of salt. Cool? Cool. I was assigned scene 326. <laughs> there are a lot of scenes. In this scene, these Jericho demon creatures, nobody really knows what in the heck it they are, laugh at the Jews because they're just marching or playing casio music. This scene is very short, which is probably for the best because I've had a really busy winter and I'm not sure if I could have handled a longer one. I was originally planning on maybe trying out rotoscoping, but I felt that it wasn't very suitable for this particular scene. There were a few things that I wanted to overhaul from the original scene. First of all, I don't like the lighting here. The shadows feel too desaturated, which not only sucks all the color out of the scene, but I also find that it makes it more difficult to discern what kinds of shapes I'm looking at here. I had a lot of trouble figuring out this building. I wanted to draw the demons who were laughing in the earlier shot to be visible in this shot as well, but I couldn't just figure out where they were for the <laughs> life of me. I had to analyze several shots of the building to even begin to discern where they could possibly be and honestly, I'm not really sure if I ever got it right. But what I was sure about was that this lighting couldn't stay. In my reanimated version, I made the shadows more blue and less strong and I reduced the texturing on the walls drastically. I feel like this not only looks nicer, but it also appears a bit more cartoony, which in my opinion just inherently works better when you're drawing anthropomorphic animal characters. I also changed the cloud formations to fit better with the perspective. I mentioned before that nobody in the project was really sure what the Jericho species was meant to be. Most of the character designs in this movie are pretty clearly meant to be some specific animal, but these red ones are just a little baffling. They have horns, like some kind of a buffalo or a demon, but they also seem to have a nose like a dog. So everyone has kind of been making their own designs for them. And this is my interpretation. I gave them skinny necks and a tongue like a snake and lots and lots of teeth. This isn't any specific animal species. Rather, I will from now on be addressing the species as demons. Animating laughter is something that I don't really do that often, mainly because I only ever animate cats. The last time I attempted animating laughter was in 2018. Nevertheless, I think I succeeded pretty well this time around. And the funny looking snake tongue is a pretty good distraction from any problems with the animation. Had I been smart, I would have just made the snake tongue on its separate layer, but nope, guess not. Guess I just copy and paste the frames during the line art phase and drew on the tongues. Woohoo! Now I had to color double the frames. I'm so smart. Since my part is very short, I tried to make use of some smear frames. For those who don't know, a smear frame is one of these weird looking frames you can sometimes find in cartoons if you pause them at the right time. These frames are really good for when you're drawing fast motion and don't want it to look jarring. 
Unfortunately, one of the two smear frames I drew didn't end up making the cut. I was originally going to shade the animation to better fit with the background, but I ended up really liking how the bright red demon pops out of his surroundings. So I just didn't shade. Less work for a better result, in my opinion. When working with a really short shot, you don't really want to do any over-the-top editing. Nothing to draw away the attention from the point of the scene, in this case, the laughing guard. But I did add a very subtle zoom out. And the reason for this is that I used this minor camera movement to create artificial depth in this 2D shot. I initially drew the building in the background on several different layers, and exported all of them as individual files. Now, I can make the parts of the building that are closer to the quote-unquote camera zoom out faster than the ones in the back, just like they would appear to move in real life if this was a real building and a real camera. It's a really simple trick, but it can add a nice sense of a third dimension into something that's actually 2D. So let's see how the animation looks. <laughs> Much thanks to SaberSpark for hosting this amazing project. I have been looking at the animations done for it by other people and it's looking really great this far. I honestly can't wait to see how it'll look like when it's complete. Also, a big thank you to my Patreon supporters. EC Arts, Put Me On Fire, Florina Ferry, Pixyart5, Gassinamu, Borkenstar, Brianna Perry and Siskinfall. Your support means the world to me. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, there's gonna be a link in the description. I, I swear I'm gonna make more Warriors content soon. Please, I swear. I, I just had a lot of deadlines, so I had to make other content. Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs>